It's well established that depression and anxiety are related to chemical imbalances in the brain. But recent research is suggesting that they can actually be caused by your gut as well. Today I'm going over scientific studies on how the gut microbiome, as well as probiotics, affect depression and anxiety. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a full-time research scientist with my PhD. And by day, I conduct and publish studies of my own, whereas by night, I share the results of other people's studies here to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, health, and nutrition goals. And I just wanted to give you a quick reminder about the little initiative we're doing over on Patreon, where once we hit 50 patrons, I'm going to start doing Q&A videos where I answer your questions all at once in a big video. So if you're interested in getting involved with that and making that happen, then head on over to the Patreon, which is linked in the description below. And first for this video, I will give you some background, and then I'll talk about how probiotics, including both supplements and various fermented foods, influence depression and anxiety. And then at the end, I'll talk about some nuances of who that's going to work best for. And if you watched my last video on the gut, then you know that dysbiosis, AKA when your gut microbiome is all messed up, can make you more susceptible to stress. And then you can get stuck in this vicious cycle of stress and inflammation and dysbiosis that is quite hard to get out of and can cause kind of a snowballing of health issues. So if you are interested in that topic and some ways to get out of that cycle, then be sure to check out that video after this one if you're interested. And as for this video, there are also a lot of findings that depression is strongly related to the gut microbiome. So for example, people with depression have been found to have more bad gut bacteria that cause more inflammation and less good gut bacteria that are more anti-inflammatory. And inflammation is particularly relevant here because there's a lot of recent research suggesting that depression may be in part a disease of inflammation. And in fact, a lot of antidepressants are thought to work by reducing brain inflammation. So generally we wanna have gut bacteria that are going to reduce inflammation if we are trying to avoid or treat depression is the idea here. And as for anxiety, people with anxiety have been found to have less good anti-inflammatory gut bacteria. And as you may remember from a recent video of mine, inflammation is also thought to play a very strong role in anxiety. And for some additional findings, it's been found that taking a course of antibiotics predicts a 20% increased risk of depression and anxiety. And taking multiple courses of antibiotics has been found to produce a 50% increased risk of depression and anxiety. And I do wanna note, this is just correlational, and I'm sure a lot of that percentage is because having an infection that is especially an antibiotic resistant infection is probably gonna cause a lot of stress, and that's probably gonna cause depression and anxiety on its own in part. However, it's thought that one reason that antibiotics are related to more depression and anxiety is because antibiotics majorly disrupt the gut microbiome. And another medication that really disrupts the gut microbiome are proton pump inhibitors. And it's been found that people who take proton pump inhibitors have a higher risk of depression. And for what I think is the most convincing finding so far that I've gone over, if you take gut bacteria from a person with depression and transplant it into rodents, those rodents will get depression. So the evidence so far shows that there is clearly some kind of relationship between depression and anxiety and the gut microbiome. But what I think is a more important question is, can you actually affect depression and anxiety by changing the gut microbiome? In particular, do probiotics help with depression and anxiety? First, for depression, a meta-analysis found that taking probiotics, which was most often in the form of supplements, reduced depression. And interestingly, this effect was strongest for people with clinical depression, so more diagnosed psychiatric major depressive disorder rather than just a few depression symptoms here and there. So what this suggests is that in some cases it could be that clinical depression is caused or exacerbated by dysbiosis or gut microbiome issues. And just so you can get an idea of how effective probiotics were for depression, I went and got an effect size from a meta-analysis on the effects of actual antidepressant medications on depression and found that the effect size was almost the same between this probiotic supplement meta-analysis and the antidepressant meta-analysis. Now take this with a grain of salt because there are way more studies that have been done on antidepressants and there are fewer on probiotic supplements. So the estimate of the effect size for the probiotic supplement is gonna be a lot noisier. But what this indicates is that the effects of probiotics are not tiny. They are a pretty substantial effect in terms of helping people with clinical depression. And the meta-analysis also found that probiotics help for anxiety as well. The effect was smaller than the benefit for depression, but I think a big reason for this could be that none of the studies so far have included actual clinical anxiety. It's only just been anxiety symptoms that have been assessed, so more mild to moderate anxiety. So if the results with anxiety end up being anything like what we saw with depression, 
then I would bet that people with clinical anxiety or more severe anxiety would get a bigger benefit from taking probiotic supplements. There aren't yet enough studies to know which specific strains of probiotics are going to be the most helpful, but most of these studies used either alone or in combination lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. And the meta-analysis found that the studies that used lactobacillus strains tended to have bigger benefits for depression. So at least it does seem like lactobacillus strains are the most helpful of what we've looked at so far. I went and dug around for a probiotic supplement that has been independently lab tested that has a lot of the strains that I kept seeing in these studies, like the specific ones. And I linked that below. This isn't necessarily better than any others you might find. It just happens to have a lot of those similar strains. And I do want to note, I am not a healthcare professional. This is not medical advice. I am a research scientist sharing cool science for educational purposes. But if you do take probiotics, then I do suggest proceeding with caution because my sense is that I think taking shorter bouts of probiotics, like over the course of a few weeks, is probably the better move given we don't know much about the effects of very long-term supplementation and probiotics. And as always, it's a good idea to consult with your doctor or psychiatrist before starting anything new like this. In particular, if you have any gastrointestinal issues or diagnosed psychiatric disorders, you should definitely check in with a healthcare professional to make sure that probiotics will play nice with all your other medications and your stomach and whatnot. Or better yet, rather than supplements, you can improve your diet in a way that will help your gut microbiome. And we also know from other studies that eating a better diet predicts less depression and anxiety, so it's probably going to be a win-win if you improve your diet in a way that improves gut health. I talk about this more in my last video on the gut microbiome, which I will link up here and in the description below. If you found this video or any of my other content helpful, then please consider supporting me in making them either through the Patreon or the GoFundMe, both of which are linked in the description below. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date on all this science. And if you like this video, please like it and share it so that other people can get this information and hopefully find a new easy way to improve their mood and reduce anxiety. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.